So welcome ladies and gentlemen. I thought today will be a good time because it's obviously Christmas has come and gone as quick as it arrives, quickly disappears. Um, I do a bit of a what did I get kind of video and of course you guys can leave your comments with what you got. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the stuff I got for Christmas. Uh, I did get a sound bar, I haven't got that for show because that's in the living room, but it's pretty good if you wanna look it up. It's a Yamaha Yas 107. Uh, it's not the high, high-end one, but it's still a pretty good sound bar. It has like a built-in subwoofer, um, like clear voice. It's got DTS-X, which is like the new kind of uh, Dolby digital thing. So yeah, that's one thing you can't see, but let's dive right into it. Uh, first thing standard, a gift card, right? Got that from the parents for me and the missus to uh, enjoy ourselves a nice steak if we ever need to. Uh, we can also go to Bonefish Grill, uh, Carabas, Roy's and Fleming. So I've only been to um, really Outback, Bonefish and, and Carabas. I haven't been to Roy's or Fleming, so I guess we could give that a go. I don't really know where there is one around here. Um, what else did we get? Now this gift was actually not meant to be for me. Um, I wanted a keyboard and I did get a keyboard, but Amazon sent my uh, father-in-law the wrong present or the wrong gift. Uh, he got a box which was like as big as this and he was like, well, there's no way that's a keyboard, correct? Um, and I ended up saying, well, you know what? We messed up, keep it for free. So he just gave it to me. Uh, but it is a wired one and I don't really want a wired one anymore. I just get annoyed with wires. So yeah, still a gift that I got. Uh, moving on, I went into some bearding kind of tools this year. Um, and I got this, which is the Beard Shaper Comb. Now what you do with this thing, and it also gives you uh, some scissors and a little key ring, if uh, that's your style. But uh, this just basically helps you to shave and uh, not butcher it up. Now I don't have a big beard. I never really like big beards. I've already got gray growing in my beard, so I don't want it to be too long. But what you do with this thing is you can see it's uh, a little comb, you know, comb your hair with it if needed, or your beard, either way. Um, and you just sort of, you use it as a guide. So if I wanted to do my neck, you'd hold the end here, you put it like this, and then when you shave, it's gonna shave like a nice circular, uh, you know, without having to manually try and do it, you're gonna butcher it. Some people may be good at it, I'm not. So this, you put there and you do it. If you wanna do the sides, I'm really not quite sure um, <laughs> how exactly it goes. If you want like a, a a side like that, you do that way. If you want it that way, you can do it that way. And it just, it's a guide. It's a guide for beards. So I thought it was a nice little gift. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see the box there, but there's a, a few little things that it tells you that it's good for. Uh, continuing that theme, we went for the beard shaper tool. Now this isn't really a tool. Uh, it's not really a beard shaper tool, but the missus got me this, or Cassie or Cassandra, whoever you want to call her itchy nose and what you do with it is you have these little suction cups stick those on the mirror and along with that you get this little bag bosh and in there is sort of a bib I'm not gonna get it out it's massive but it's a bib that you attach right here onto the mirror and it sort of just sits there and when you shave instead of having an absolute nightmare whenever I shave hair all over the shop it really is, I mean, it's in the sink, it's on the floor, it's on the countertop, you know, it's a mess. This thing keeps it nice and cushy, as Del Boy would say, and uh, from there, pick it up, put it in the bin. So it's a nice little gadget. I'm definitely gonna give that a bash, maybe tonight. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I'll even give you a little, uh, I don't know what this is, it's got some sort of string I haven't bothered to, um, you know what, let's have a look, let's have a look what's in this thing. Let's see here. Oh, so they give you another comb. This is something different. Um, and I guess this is the actual shaping tool. Yeah, so they give an instruction guide with it. So it, it, it does actually have a shaping tool. I didn't know that until now. There you go. There's another Christmas present for me. So that's lovely. Um, and along with that, more bearded stuff. I got myself um, a Philips Noralco all-in-one beard trimmer. Um, obviously you can see there's nothing in it, because I took it out. But uh, this thing should do the job, uh, do the drop, do the job. It's got uh, two uh, body hair guards, so if I wanna shave my body off, 
knock my body off. <laughs> I want to shave my body hair. Bob's your uncle with this thing as well. Extra wide hair trimmer, nose and ear trimmer, uh, six hair guards. It's got a lot of guards, and that's mainly why I got it, because it does a lot, as you can see there. Uh, hopefully you can see it. it. does a lot of stuff. And I hope the lighting's all right. I've got the mirror, the mirror, the light right in my face. I'm trying to do some studio lighting. That's not happening. But yeah, we've got a nice beard trimmer to shave the old beard and keep it nice and clean. Um, got this from the parents, just simple Axe Apollo 3-in-1. It's uh, a little set there. You get the deodorant, a travel size, um, your daily fragrance. Yeah, I might take that to work, actually. Uh, we've got the Apollo deodorant and we've got some shower gel. I do like Axe shower gel. It is quite nice, refreshing, smells pretty good, so no complaints. I actually got my dad um, a Cuba sort of uh, fragrance pack. It's quite nice. It comes in a nice box from Amazon. Check it out. It's called Cuba something. Cuba Libre. Not really. Uh, got this from the missus as well. It is a shirt, as you can see. Long sleeve. Quite nice. Um, does have pockets here. So if I need to fondle myself in public, if I've got itchy bollocks, no one's going to know. That's always a nice uh, advantage. I think that's why they put it there, to be honest. And um, yeah, looks quite nice. Got two of these, this color and another color, because my office is freezing, I'll tell you that much. You may live in Florida, but it's bloody cold inside. And my parents got me a polo shirt because I wear polo shirts, uh, polo shirts at work, and that's really all we're allowed to wear. I mean, we wear jeans, it's a pretty laid back environment, but um, there we go. And finally, uh, when it comes to showing you guys, I've got a Blu-ray player, so yeah. LG was pretty good, the reviews were solid for it. Disappointing though that it doesn't play MKV from USB. That's mainly why I got this, because I thought, reading the website, this would play. It plays a lot of formats, but I think it only mainly plays MKV from uh, DVDs, obviously for Blu-ray. So I was hoping I wouldn't have to convert MVKs into MP4s to put them on a USB and play them, but it is what it is. But it's got Netflix, Hulu, uh, Voodoo, YouTube and all that, but it's not wireless, you have to plug it in, but it does the job uh, and it's better than what we had. We had a dual combo. Yeah, we had a VHS and um, a DVD combo. What a crazy one that is. I uh, also got this mouse. So here it is, you can see it's lit up. It does light up. If you can see it, I don't know. I can't see myself on camera. Um, the reason why I like this is because, number one, it's wireless. I wanted a wireless mouse. Number two, listen to this. It's not loud, and it may sound loud on the camera, but this thing, if I do it from here, very, very quiet, love it. Um, like I said, changes color, it's got a DPI button on the top right there. You push that down, and it makes the mouse more sensitive or less sensitive, etc. Uh, and it's also got one key feature, a back and a forward button, which I absolutely have to have. I hate hitting back and forward on the browsers in Google Chrome, or even in file, you know, the File Explorer, I have to have a back button because it pisses me off. So yeah, a nice mouse, it really is quite a nice mouse. And this also, it's wireless, but you charge it via USB. There is a battery in it, but the battery is rechargeable. So you will never have to buy a battery with this. You just plug it in there and charge it. Uh, another thing we got, we did get a new microphone, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we have got this luxury snowball. It's not the most expensive one around. Um, but certainly I think this is going to be better quality, hopefully, when I do my videos. I'm, I'm literally going to have it there, and I'm going to play my game, and I don't have to worry uh, about having a mic here. It's just going to be projected right into the Snowball mic itself, and it's going to pick it up. And I've, you know, I've done some tests, and it sounds pretty good. So, yeah, look forward to some different audio from some of my videos, hopefully. It's probably not going to sound too different, but it's just the ease of access of having this thing as the whipping out a microphone and a headset every single time. Okay, so another gift that I have was, uh, or I got, was this wireless charger. Um, I don't have one. So basically, you know, with the iPhone 8 coming out um, and all that stuff, with the ability to wirelessly charge your device, just placing it on there, I needed one. Uh, it's also a night light. It does light up at, when it's dark. I mean, it's too much light here to show you guys, but it's a pretty nifty one. Fast charge, it, it charges pretty quick. So there it is. If you want to take a gander at that, and uh, I'm gonna have to move you real quick so you can see what is going on. So let me pick you up and show you 
uh, the final few things here as we whip out this chair out of the way. Get out of there, son. Still got the Christmas lights. I'm gonna leave them up there, why not? So I got this new keyboard, okay? Um, it's a pretty good one, it, it's, it's pretty slim, and that's the main reason why I got this thing. You can see how thin it is. Um, it's a very slim profile. Um, and, and you know, I, you know, it's decent. I don't want a real mechanical one. I had one and it's kind of annoying for me. I just, I don't like it for some reason. So I decided to go ahead and um, get, get this one. Um, and I also got this stand. As you can see now, the monitor is actually on a stand itself, which does allow me now to put that keyboard in there when I'm not using it. it gives me a little bit more free space. And yeah, this thing is made out of sort of, it is glass. Um, it's got metal legs. You can actually adjust those and put them up. But you know, if you have a look, it gives you a little bit more elevation. It's at eye level now. And I just wanted something to, to make the table look a little bit more uh, inviting. So here is the, the charger. I wanted to show you guys it lighting up. So there it is. You can see uh, it changes color. So it goes sort of blue. And then it goes to sort of a pinky purple, and it just sort of goes around in circles, and, and that's used as sort of a nightlight. And when you put your phone on it, which I can't do right now because I'm using my phone, uh, it just goes to one color to show you that it's actually charging. But you know what? It works well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today. Uh, we'll be back very, very shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you got in the comments. I would show you my face, but I'd have to pause the camera. And it will be back very, very shortly. Until next time, take care.